She raced to the door of the cottage she shared with her uncle, hoping once he saw her discovery, he'd lose himself in tales of its legend. Uncle Argus was watching the evening light dim when Quill burst through the front door of their cottage. Uncle! Uncle, there's something you have to see! Out past the bell again, he scolded. Quill, I've told you countless times. I know, Quill replied, crestfallen. I didn't mean to worry you. But I found something strange and magical. Quill's hands trembled as she showed him the glass. What is it? she asked. A look of panic spilled over her uncle's stoic exterior. Where did you find this? roared Uncle Argus. Quill had never seen her uncle so shaken. Just west of the clearing? she explained. And as soon as I picked it up, something started helping me. Uncle Argus followed her motion. A reader. With you, here, right now? Quill, what you found is very powerful and very dangerous, he said with great concern. If I could take this burden from you, I would. But this reader has chosen. Even with the moon full and bright, I must go right away. Quill pressed. Where are you going? I can help. We can help. No, he snapped. They'll find you and tear you apart. I have to go alone. It is for your own safety and for everyone here in the clearing. His long, heartfelt hug told her he was heading for danger. I'll be back before midnight. Until I return, I need your word you will not leave the clearing with that glass. Promise me, Quill. I promise, she said reluctantly, wondering where her uncle was going so deep into the night. Kid! Kid! Wake up! Hey, kid, over here! I know where your uncle went. I can show you. You're twofold now. Very important. Bring that glass and your sidekick, too. We're going to need them. Quill called out. Hey! Starling, wait! Quill had never met a Starthing. In campfire stories, they often meddled in the lives of mortals. And when they appeared, mischief followed.
Passage through the Eastern Gate was strictly forbidden. But despite her promise, Quill knew in her heart that Uncle Argus needed her. Will demanded answers. Starthing, you can't just barge in here with your riddles. Where is he? What do you know? trouble your uncle's heading for is the kind only you and that silent giant up there can get him out of. This way, kid, urged the starving. And don't forget to tuck your ears in.
Just on the other side is the mire, the starving assured her. There's a good chance your uncle's still there. Did you hear that? The starving seemed anxious. I've ruffled enough leaves in these parts. I can't be seen with you. I'll catch up with you later. Just don't go and die on me. <laughs> 